Hi everyone, today is my Valentine's Day makeup tutorial. The past two years, I believe, I posted a Valentine's Day video. I really enjoy Valentine's Day makeup. I love using pinks. I think it's a very cute. For today's video, I am going to do my makeup, but I'm also going to show you guys how I would do my hair. Several days ago on my Instagram, I posted this story right here of a look that I did and I was actually practicing a Valentine's Day look but so many of you guys asked me what makeup I was wearing and if I was going to do a tutorial on it and a lot of you guys commented on my hair as well so I'm going to be doing that for you guys today I am going to start with my makeup first I am going to go in with the Glossier Future Dew first I absolutely love this product for underneath makeup especially if I'm going to do a little bit more of a full coverage foundation I love the look of it over top of my Future Dew I am going to go in with my elf putty primer and I'm just going to pat that on on my smile lines just to kind of fill in my smile lines just a little bit so I have a minimal creasing and then I'm also going to take some just on my cheeks right here because it is a pore filling primer and I'm just pressing it in just on like the top of my cheeks because that is where I do get my largest pores. I recently got this adorable little makeup mixer plate from Ulta. I'm actually going to take a mixture of my Bare Minerals Bare Pro Performance Wear Liquid Foundation and I'm going to mix that in with the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream. For the tinted gel, I'm using Ginger 06. And then for the Bare Minerals Bare Pro, I use the shade 18 Pecan. So I just did like even amounts of both product. So I'm going to pick the product up with a sponge and I'm going to press the product into my skin. The sponge is from Amazon. It comes in like a pack of five, I think, for like eight bucks. It's really, really cheap and I can leave them linked down below. For my concealer, I'm going to take my Urban Decay Stay Naked Concealer and this is in the shade 50YW. And I am going to continue blending out my base with the sponge. Just kind of pressing in the product into my skin. So that's what my skin is looking like right now. I am going to take some of my Jeffree Star powder and I use the shade beige in this. And I am going to lightly bake underneath my eyes in preparation for eyeshadow. I like to kind of do this when I know I'm going to be using a lot of like color around my eyes just to act as like a shield in case there's any fallout going on. So at the end, I can easily just wipe it away, dust it away with a fluffy brush instead of making a big mess on my wet foundation. I'm going to first use my concealer to just kind of prime my eyes a little bit. I hope you guys enjoy an oldie but a goodie, a classic in the makeup world because I am going to go in with the Modern Renaissance palette from Anastasia. This palette is so classic, so iconic, so perfect for Valentine's Day. I'm going to first take Burnt Orange, which is the shade right here. I'm taking that on a fluffy brush and I'm just running that through my crease. And I'm being really soft with this, kind of just circle motions back and forth, making sure it's really blended and blown out and just appearing really soft. You can take it a bit onto the actual eyelid. I like to kind of swipe any additional color on the brush onto my eyelid. I always think the more that you work with a transition shade, the more blended your eyeshadow will end up looking. What I'm going to do now is take Burnt Orange and Red Ochre and I'm just going to take it on a smaller blending brush and I'm just going to tap lightly in each shade going back and forth to kind of get a good mixture of the two colors. Mixing two different colors, especially mixing a transition shade and a crease shade together kind of back and forth on your brush first is a really good trick for making sure you have a nice blended eyeshadow as well you know i actually think i took some of this vinny vinny in red vin vin vinny tan red and i'm going to take it on that same brush and i'm just going to kind of pink in that up a little bit See how that kind of just added like some redness? 
And for the most part, I've left this inner corner pretty bare. I am taking the little brush and kind of sweeping in any extra color into the crease all the way inside, but for the most part, I am keeping the actual eyelid of the inner corner pretty bare um, so that I can put a really pretty light shade in there but that looks nice and blended to me. I'm gonna go back in with a fluffy blending brush and just kind of make sure that everything on the top of our blend is nice and diffused. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take some of the shade Vimeer right here and I'm taking that on an eyeshadow brush and I'm putting that shade right in this inner corner but it's a little bit too shimmery for me. So what I'm going to do Next is I'm going to take some of Tempura and tone down the shimmer by applying it over top. And then what I'm going to do is take that blending brush and then just go back over that blend where the light shade meets the kind of red eyeshadow that we have going on and just blend out that line so then the middle can get like a soft pink shade. It ends up looking really pretty on the eyes. And then with Venetian Red and an angled eyeliner brush, I'm actually going to do my Smoky Shadow Wing Liner, which you might think is a little bit odd considering we just put a bunch of Venetian Red on the outer corner. You might be thinking like, oh, that might not show up, but the contrast between packing on the shadow liner and then the blended out Venetian Red actually ends up looking really like neat. Like it kind of brings like a monochromatic look to the eye. It's interesting. And I'm taking the eyeliner just a little bit further into the inner corner. Not too, too much. I'm not bringing it in all the way, but I do want some of that red eyeliner to kind of show a little bit of contrast between the really light shade and the redness of the liner because I think that that looks really neat. I'm now taking my concealer and I'm cleaning my line up. And then I like to take like a little concealer brush and kind of just make sure that the concealer doesn't look too harsh underneath that little wing liner we did. Making sure both sides look even. And then I take a powder brush and just kind of dust the powder underneath my eyes away. I am just going to take a brow gel today to fill in my brows. And for that, I'm just taking the Milk Makeup Kush Brow Gel. And then I'm just going to take some of that Tempura shade and apply it to my brow bone. And then focus apply it to the inner corner. And then taking the brush with all of the red tones that we used in the crease, I'm just taking whatever is left over on that brush and then running it on my bottom lash line. For my bronzer, I'm going to take some of my NARS Laguna. I really enjoyed the look of this bronzer when I had used it in my full face of NARS. So I wanted to use it again. So I did not check to see, but I am so positive that I used the Too Faced Sweetheart Blush in the shade Peach Beach for the last two Valentine's Day videos. It just looks like this. It is a very cute, very soft. I'm pretty sure the last time I used this was for last Valentine's Day. And then for my highlight, I'm going to use the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter and Be My Highlight. For my mascara, I'm going to try the Tarte Man Eater. I got this yesterday in my Tarte training at work. I have not ever used this mascara, but apparently it's a lot of people's favorite. This mascara actually looks so nice. I was kind of thinking that it was going to be really clumpy for some reason, but oh my god, no. To finish off my look, I'm going to apply some of my Bare Minerals Gen Nude Lip Liner in On Point. I'm also going to add a little bit of my Buxom Lip Liner in Hush Hush. And then to top it off, I'm going to be adding some Glossier Lip Gloss. 
Okay, so next I'm going to work on my hair. To style my hair, I am going to be using a two inch barrel wand and this is from Bedhead. I'm also going to break my hair up into a couple of different sections. My hair is already blow dried and just for that I just used like a hair oil and then I did use the dry bar blow dry spray. I actually really don't like that blow dry spray. I just like and this is never like me. I always know where my Kenra blow dry spray is, but I just could not find the Kenra blow dry spray. But yeah, I don't put any extra product in to curl my hair. I just curl it. So what I do is I just wrap my hair down the barrel just like this. And then I wait probably like 10 seconds or something. And then I let the curl go but I hold it in my hand just for like a moment and then I let it like slowly come down and then I don't brush out the curl at all. I'm going to do it again. Hold the hair on there for about 10 seconds or so and then let it go but hold it in your hand and then gently let it down. One thing I forgot to mention too is that I curl my hair away from my face. It's just the style that I like prefer. So that bottom layer is done and I don't touch my hair at all. Like I don't brush it out at all until the very very end. Once the bottom layer is done it's a little bit hard to continue sectioning off in like layers um, all at once. So what I like to do is now just move on to doing one side at a time. So I'll use my clips and I'll kind of just like clip that section all in one area and then I'll take this side of my hair and then split that section up. My hair is actually really thin so it really only takes me like three sections to do my hair on both sides so it might take you a little bit longer but my hair is super duper thin. have these shorter front bang pieces and since I am working with the two inch barrel it is really hard to get those like around by themselves so I always group it with a longer strand of hair and then I will wrap it around the barrel that way and then I also for this part I kind of loosen up it a little bit just because it is the front part of my face so like you see I'm like kind of moving it around like just kind of not having it so tight just because I want it to look just a little bit softer in the front part of my so this is the final look you guys after the hair makeup decolletage decollete it's all taken care of this is the final look I think it is perfect for a freaking date night like I'm looking good, I'm feeling good, Justin needs to take me out. So if you have made it this far into the video, lucky you, because I do have a little giveaway going on. Over on Glossier's website, they did release a newer bundle for Valentine's Day. The bundle includes Glossier U, Glossier's Pro Tip, and a Glossier Lip Gloss. If you were to buy all three of these products separately, it would cost you $90. However, with the bundle, you are able to purchase this set for $75, which saves you about $15, which is really amazing. However, Glossier did gift me the whole set but I already have all three of these products, so I wanna give it to one of you guys. Think of it as my Valentine's Day gift to you guys. I wish I could give one to every single one of you guys, but one person is going to be winning this. All requirements will be listed down below. It will be US only. I think the post office is weird about shipping liquids out of United States, and plus it is like really expensive to ship outside of the US. So it is going to be a US only giveaway. Obviously, I would like you to be subscribed. Go ahead and like this video as well. And I would like you guys to comment one of the two options. One, I would like you to leave a comment telling me about your partner and just what you love about them and what makes them special and what you appreciate about your relationship with them. 
and if you are not with someone, if you are not with anyone right now, I just want you to leave me a comment about something that you appreciate about yourself and something that you enjoy about yourself, something that you enjoy doing by yourself, for yourself, just so I can tie this into Valentine's Day, sharing something about your partner or sharing something that you love about yourself. Um, I can't wait to read your comments. Another thing is I would like you to be following my Instagram. I'm really trying to build up my Instagram. I would love to get to 10,000 Instagram followers so I can just do the swipe up thing instead of having to put it in my bio one day, one day. But yes, please be following my Instagram. That would help me out a lot. Along in your comment, please leave your Instagram handle down below. I have a lot of giveaway entries and past giveaways and a lot of people don't leave their Instagram handles in the comments, so make sure you do that. And there will be an opportunity for a little bonus entry on my Instagram if you head over to my Instagram, like the picture of this look, comment on it, and share it on your story. But anyway, that is it from me today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy Valentine's Day to you guys. Hopefully it is a special one, whether you celebrate it by yourself, celebrate it with someone else, choose not to celebrate it, whatever it may be. I've always liked Valentine's Day, whether I've been single or not. It's always a cute little holiday for me. It doesn't really mean anything, but it's just an extra day to love someone a little extra harder. So anyway, if you aren't already subscribed, definitely go ahead and do so. And hopefully I see you next time.